Good morning, CDT day 89. I'm just hanging out with uh, Jesus right now. We're having ourselves a hot dog fire. Packed out a an eight pack of uh, ballpark franks with some ketchup and uh, buns. So we have ourselves a high powered protein breakfast before we crush the day. It's about 8 a.m. right now. Uh, beautiful night last night. The stars were out. There was no um, rain or clouds or anything, and it was pretty warm. So very comfortable sleep. Um, just gonna enjoy some of these hot dogs and hit the trail. Mm, nothing like a ballpark frank with some cheese in the morning. Alright, we are out on trail and it is uh, looking like a cruisy day. So, uh, should be able to make some decent miles without too much trouble. That is until we run into some uh, expected snow coming up. Went through all the hot dogs, all the buns. I uh, still have plenty of ketchup though, so I'll have to find a way to use that up. That shouldn't be a problem. It's my favorite condiment in the world. So many cool flowers and stuff out here. So many reds, purples, yellows, whites. Even saw some pinks. Some blues. So many reds right here. Look at all that. It's like a flowery meadow everywhere we walk. Today is a good day. Look at that sky. You know there's no way I'm not going to take a break right here. Look at this! <laughs> oh my god, what a beautiful day. So, it looks like a slight change of plans. Um, we really love Colorado, and uh, I've had such a good time here, even though it's been incredibly hard working. But uh, pretty soon, in the next uh, couple of days, we're going to be in Wyoming. And we're going to be spending a pretty fair amount of time, a couple of weeks, in the open desert. So having this place like uh, Fish Hook Lake that I've just been showing you is uh, seems like a commodity. You know, it's really nice and it's beautiful. It also reminds me of the Adirondacks. They have kind of like the orange yellow tinted water probably because of the iron in it. And, um, you know, it uh, seems like good swimming and good weather and stuff like that. So all this to say that we came across a campsite that looks really nice. So we're thinking of taking an on-trail Nero. It wouldn't be a zero because we've already walked about three and a half miles today. Um, but we'd love to do an on-trail Nero. We have too much food and uh, we're almost done with Colorado. So we're just going to do one more kind of like relaxing send off. Plus uh, weather's starting to move in. We're hearing a lot of thunder and some dark clouds are rolling in. So we don't really want to get caught walking in that. So, you know, excuse here, excuse there. We're just here to have fun. So we're going to enjoy uh, one more real, just real relaxing day in Colorado before we head into Wyoming. So um, I think that's all we're walking today is about three and a half miles and a little bit of elevation change. But when the day's over, we'll figure out the stats on that. And that's about it. So we have the, the lake right over here, which we can hang out at for uh, most of the day. And then uh, we're hanging out in the trees here so that we have a little bit of coverage from any weather that comes through. But tons of flat spots, a uh, really big fire pit, tons of seating. So it just works out perfectly. There's like three really solid spots for tents. So, um, yeah, I guess uh, kind of an on-trail Nero, just taking the day off and relaxing. Loving it. And just as if foretold by a prophecy, the rain has come through. So we set up our tents just in time and now we're hiding out in here waiting for the rain to stop i was hoping to have a little bit more time to collect some dry firewood and uh maybe to cover up the fireplace but can't have everything we can we should be able to get a fire going later as long as the uh, weather perks up a bit but for now relax in my tent and listen to the beautiful sounds of the storm moving through all right, so we are still relegated to our tents because the uh, rain is back again. We all took like a th almost three hour nap uh, during that first storm. So we were, I guess, a little more tired than we expected. But 
Um, right when we started, right when Jesus started the fire, the rain started back up again, so just hanging out in the tent again, having a grand old time, having a uh, lunch. It is uh, soy sauce flavored ramen with some cheddar cheese. Delicious! Alright, turns out it's been raining all day, so um, took another nap in the tent, woke up and it's dark now, so um, pretty much wasted the day away napping, but you know, not much you can do, and if there's a thunderstorm rolling through, it's not like I can go out and go swimming or have a fire, things like that, so, um, but real relaxing day in the tent, just being able to hang out, watch some episodes of The Office, eat a bunch of food, and uh, take some really big naps, so really relaxing and probably restorative for the body as well. Just had some dinner, um, oriental ramen, which turns out is the same as the soy sauce ramen. Uh, two packets with a can of chicken and some New York shop cheddar cheese. Uh, pretty good stuff. Um, so now, probably just going to watch some more videos or something like that and then uh, go to bed and start this whole thing off tomorrow. So the stats for today is we walked a total of 3.5 miles with an elevation gain of about 570 feet. So, real hard working day. Um, this leaves us with about two more days to uh, Colorado still, because I think we're in the, I think we're in like the high 50s for mileage away from there at the moment. But tomorrow looks like a pretty good day of hiking if the weather can improve, so that should work out pretty well. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.